I'm Haley Taylor, and you're listening to The Rough Draft Diaries. This week on The Rough Draft Diaries, we're talking to someone who I've been eyeing for a Rough Draft Diaries episode for a while. I first heard of her story when her feature on AJ Plus News and Current Events Facebook page went viral. It's been two years later, and now she's finally been nominated for our program. Okay, my name is Zubeda Fala, and I am the founder of the nutritional snack bar company, Cure. Cure bars kind of look like granola bars. As of right now, they have two flavors, almond honey and cashew coconut. The inspiration for these snacks came from a few different places. One would be Zubeda's place in college. After graduating university, I started becoming um, very conscious about what I put into my body and nutrition became like an obsessive hobby of mine. And I remember back when I was growing up, my grandmother used to prepare this black mixture of black seeds, honey, and almonds, and she would force feed it to us every day. So when I started doing research on nutrition, I remembered this black seed that my grandmother used to force feed us. And so I started doing research on it and I found that it had immense health benefits. And at that point, um, being Middle Eastern, I was very familiar with the seed and a lot of Middle Easterners are. But as an American, I always asked myself, why is it non-existent in American cuisine? So I wanted to change that. Basically, I wanted, I took it upon myself um, and said, let's change the way people eat. Uh, because there is this negative stigma in our society that healthy food tastes bad. So I want to make healthy food taste good and show you that you can eat healthy and consciously and do good for your body, yet still enjoy the food. So Zubeda started The Cure Company about two years ago. At the time, she was still working as a teacher. She studied education at the University of Cincinnati and was selling these bars to mainly family and friends. And at that point, I was hand making the bars out of my home kitchen and I would chop up all the ingredients, roast them in my own ovens. I was packaging them. I think the first couple weeks I got maybe 15 orders total and it was strictly friends and family. And then we had a blogger do a piece on us Um, and so when word broke that we were the first nutritional snack bar that implemented the black seed people heard about our mission it just kind of skyrocketed and one day I was sitting in my living room and I opened up my Facebook and I had 5,000 friend requests so I quickly went to my orders and I just was scrolling through pages and pages and I think that day I had 300 and it just escalated from there Needless to say, Cure became Zubeda's full-time job, which was always really her dream. She became so busy that she actually had to move production to a distribution center, as there would be no way she could fill 10,000 orders in her own kitchen. Business was booming, which was great for Zubeda on a personal level, but also on a community level. You see, for Zubeda, the Cure Bar is so much more than just a snack, it's a mission. So our mission is to give back. And so we have a get and give program where for every bar we sell, we donate a bar to a person in need. And this is really just a symbol that small consecutive acts of giving when done in unison can make a global impact. And I truly believe that there are so many people, fortunate people in this world, and each one has something different and unique to give. And so if you can find what it is that you can give and do it consecutively, Imagine the impact that you can make on this world. And that's really what this company, this movement is about. It's to be a symbol to people on an individual level, as well as a corporate level, that you know you can run a profit-sustainable company and still give back to the less fortunate. And as the Cure brand grows, Subeda plans for two things to remain the same. Number one is the mission. The mission will always focus on supporting her local community, the community of Toledo First. The second thing is... Subeda herself, she is aware that she's made quite the achievement in establishing a healthy, flourishing brand in just under two years. I think every morning I continuously remind myself of how lucky I am, and I never let it get to my head. I do this, it's kind of weird, but every week I'll like Google poverty, and I depress myself by going through these images, um, you know, of hunger-stricken people and the children, and And I do that because I want to always be, continue to be grounded and remind myself of why I started this company. 
And I never want to get to a point where, you know, I'm so successful that I just forget where I came from or why I started. And I think that's been a really good way for me to stay true to myself. Just always stay humble during your highs and faithful during your lows. I think that the reward you receive when you give is so much greater than when you get. So even when I had that high of 10,000 orders, it still didn't equate to that time when I was donating bar the very first time I donated bars. And they were in the packaging and they were perfect. And you know, the reactions I received from doing that, that was priceless, I can honestly say. For now, I'm Haley Taylor, and thanks for listening to this episode of The Rough Draft Diaries.